So we were trying a new place called oh my, Voyager Coffee and I got what they call a Tokyo. So all their specialty drinks are named after places. Dude, it's fucking hot in here. Hold on. So this is called a Tokyo and it's an espresso shot with cherry blossom water, vanilla, and what was the last thing? I got it with oat milk and I got it iced. So we're about to try it. But it tastes good. I like it. back to my kitchen again. Today I'm going to be cooking <laughs> so I'm making Filipino caldereta which is basically like a beef tomato stew. So the ingredients are really simple. All we need is onion, garlic, tomato sauce, salt, pepper, some beef, and we also need soy sauce and vinegar too I think. So it's kind of like adobo since you use soy sauce and vinegar to season it, but it's traditionally cooked with beef and potatoes. And you add tomato instead of just soy sauce and vinegar. So I already prepped most of my ingredients. I minced the garlic, cut up the onion, and cut up my potatoes. So the next step, very important, you need to brown the beef. So best piece of equipment you could use is a cast iron skillet because it distributes heat very evenly. But if you don't have this, you could just use a regular, what's it called, non-stick pan. So I'm going to add oil to the pan, heat it up, season my beef right here, and then basically fry it until it's golden brown on all sides. So I finished browning the beef. Also pro tip, if you're using like any large cut of meat, 
Um, most people, if they're turning that into a stew, they would chop it up into tiny pieces and then brown it that way. But I've realized that that's a lot more effort than just chopping it up into like bigger chunks and then browning it that way and then chopping it into smaller chunks afterwards. So, pro tip. Anyways, now that that's browned, I'm gonna chop it up into smaller pieces. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to start sauteing my onions in a big pan. Thank you. 